if you have watched a boxing tournament or a wrestling match, while the other person will be on the ground, the time comes, come, I did. When the referee will lift up the hand of the winner, everybody can see is the winner. Why are they lifting up the hand? Just to let them know beyond any shadow of doubt that as far as this match is concerned, this is the winner. I see God lifting you up. You don't understand this. And one day at the right time, I would tell you, I will pay 300 million this week. Do you understand? One day I will tell you, not now. It didn't come from multitudes of people. One person. And not outside of here. The person was pleading with me. I said, hold on. I've given the date it will be paid. When is going to be your turn? When will you get to that place that will say something is needed and you will say, I have it. Don't use mouth. Use your heart. Connect to God. I don't want you to sing this song casually. If you like, cry. If you like, laugh. If you like, dance. If you like, don't. But sing it from your heart. Let me soak it. Let me do it. Family was okay. I'm not sure you understand what you are singing. Please come. Sit down. Sit. He's looking for a breakthrough. All that is in the world, the loss of the eyes will come. So you can take this. It's a quick fix. He says no. The lust of the flesh will come. If you can only sleep with Mrs. Potiphar, you become the controller of the house. He says, no. The pride of life will come. Don't you think you have been ill-treated and you are not being paid your right? Do you leave this place now? He says, no. After all of that, that's all that is in the world. I yet there is no people. Take me to the place where temptation cannot reach me. Take me to the place where I will not search for less than God's best. When you sing, Famila King Gajuayelo is not talking about other human beings that you'll be higher than. No! The system of the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, the pride of life, and deception that the devil offers. And then they castigate him and throw him into prison. For not yielding to lust, but instead trusting God. He chose trust above lust. He chose obedience above expedience. And God then went to the prison and lifted up his hand. Baby, it's okay. Baby, it's okay. Baby, Family was okay. King, that you are yellow. Oh, who I am me. Check all your daddy. I'm 
not sure you see what I'm doing. Lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh. Pride of life. He overcame them all. And by the time his brothers came, what did he say? Tell my father of all my glory in Egypt. Why? Because I told someone last week, I said, sign, sealed, and deliver. Abu Buta, Omioku, or Yagba Yagba, or Rocho, Nibi, in the name of Jesus. Bear me, it's okay. Bear me, DJ. Come up. Family was okay. King that you are yellow. Oh, I gave me. Jacko, your daddy. Family was okay. Mama, Jacko, baby. Can you see where they are? That's your new position where you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will see you all at the top. I've been saying it for years. Now is a reality. The reality of it will turn upon you. Somebody will call you higher. You are going up higher. Almighty God will orchestrate everything that will keep you at the top. You will operate above the system of the world. Above lust of the flesh. Above lust of the eyes. Above pr pride of life. Above all subtle deceptions of the enemy. You will not fall for the plots of the enemy. You will operate above all his tactics. In the name of Jesus. You'll be able to say like Jesus, all mine are yours, all yours are mine. I am no longer in this world. That is your portion in Jesus' name. Sing it with me as you go down. Bem me is okay. Bem me did it.
I sense in my spirit, I perceive very strongly that the spirit of counsel is present. Amen. Is in this house this afternoon. Amen. That spirit will show you what to do. Amen. Will tell you what to say. Amen. Will inspire you where to go. Amen. And whatever you say, whatever you do, and wherever you go, that spirit will stop death in your life. It will stop the process of death. Others may die, but you cannot. Because of destiny. Give me Daniel chapter 2. And let's begin from verse 1. I'll read up to verse 16. Daniel chapter 2. That spirit is in this house today. I can literally touch that spirit. It's, it's, it's present in a way it could be felt. And you begin to operate in wisdom higher than your age. Greater than your resources. In wisdom that you could not attain otherwise except it's ushered in by the spirit of counsel. Daniel chapter 2, verse 1. Now in the second year of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams and his spirit was troubled that his sleep left him. Then the king gave the command to call the magicians, the astrologers, the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans to tell the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said to them, I have had a dream. And my spirit is anxious to know the dream. Hmm. I hear in my spirit what the Holy Spirit is saying. He said, men bow before the kings of the earth. But I'm going to cause the kings of the earth to bow before you. Amen. They are coming to worship at your feet. Amen. They will cast their crowns down. Amen. Because the greater one is on the inside of you. Amen. Let's read on. And the king said to them, I've heard a dream, and my spirit is anxious to know the dream. Then the Chaldeans spoke to the king in Aramaic, O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream, and we will give you the permutation. The interpretation, because it's guesswork that they do to confuse you. Uh, somebody said to me the other day, he said, we are prayer warriors in this church, and while we are praying, uh, 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 you have to make changes about certain personnel because those who are in charge of communion are also giving communion to other people in their dream and in their sleep. And he wanted me to call a meeting to remove people, and I look at him and said, something is wrong with you. You aren't well. You're not well. You understand me? It's not everything that I receive that I respond to. Mm. Because you have a resident spirit of counsel mm. on the inside of you. Mm. Nothing will frighten you. Yeah. No bad news will give you anxiety. Yeah. Your children shall be taught by the Lord. Yeah. And great will be their peace yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> then the Chaldean spoke to the king in Aramaic. Oh, king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream and we'll give the interpretation. The king answered and said to the Chaldeans, my decision is firm. If you do not make known the dream to me and its interpretation, you shall be caught in pieces and your houses shall be made an ash heap. However, if you tell the dream and its interpretation, you shall receive from me gifts, rewards, and great honor. Therefore, tell me the dream and its interpretation. They answered again and said, let the king tell his servant the dream and we will give its interpretation. Huh. The king answered and said, I know for certain that you will gain time. On the, you will do what? Gain time. 
you will gain time because you see that my decision is firm. If you do not make known the dream to me, how then will you know the interpretation? If you do not make the dream known to me, there's only one decree for you. For you have agreed to speak lying and corrupt words before me as you have been doing before. Because you will not come to this conclusion if you have not been deceived a number of times. When by the grace of God I stood there, I was going to sing, if you remember, and I paused. And I said, I see a vehicle tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. I stopped death. Now God has to show you that. Or you are a hypocrite, you are a game player. Mm. Now from that day, I didn't try to find out, has anybody come? Mm. It's clearly right before you today. Amen. Here comes the testimony of what God saw and tried to stop. The song I was going to sing at that moment is not as important as what he wants to do. So he stopped me in my track. Do you understand this? I do not know what God had averted by my not going out of Lagos this week. I can't tell it and I'm not going to investigate it. Mm. But <laughs> the way that seems good to a man, many times the end thereof is death. That's why this spirit that is manifesting this morning, that is resident here today, that has come down from heaven, must be resident on the inside of you to guide you in your day-to-day decision-making process in the name of Jesus so that your household will not be misled. You will not misguide your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to the word. If you do not make known the dream to me, there's only one decree for you. For you have agreed to speak lying and corrupt words before me till the time has changed. Therefore, tell me the dream. Now, they came to the end of their gimmicks and their games. Say, so, King, what you are asking for is beyond our trade, beyond our skills, beyond our learning, beyond everything we know how to do. This is not what we learned in the Babylonian college. We have been to your three years college. We have graduated, we have come out. We know all the permutations, but they cannot work here. Uh, Ceteris paribus, all things are not equal today. You understand me, king? I will tell you, king, we will tell you those who can make that happen. Next slide. You tell me the dream and I shall know that you can give me his interpretation. The Chaldeans answered the king and said, there is not a man on earth. <laughs> Tell your neighbor minus me. They are right. I said they are right. Daniel is seated in heavenly places. And I'm seated with him above. Far above the system of the world. Do you understand me? CGCC, we are going to have the last laugh. And we are going to love last. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Chaldeans answered the king and said, There is not a man on earth who can tell the king's matter. Therefore, no king, lord, or ruler has ever asked saw things of any magician, astrologer, or Chaldean. It is a difficult thing that the king requests. That is difficult does not mean it's impossible. And there is no other who can tell it to the king except the gods whose dwelling is now with flesh. End of story. So which of the gods of Babylon are they going to consult now? The magicians don't know the gods. For this reason the king was angry and very furious and gave the command to destroy. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. The real revolution is about to start. Not by gangsters. Not by reckless people. The real revolution is about to start. When kings will dream and they will be totally perplexed. When they will be looking for ideas and they don't know where to go. They are going to look for you soon. Do you understand me? I said they are going to look for you soon. The years of delayed gratification is about to pay off. 
Do you understand me? Your years of being rejected by others is about to pay up. It's all adding up to where God is taking you. When me is okay, when me did day, family was okay. King got you a yellow, oh boy, I am me. Jack for your daddy, family was okay. Papa, oh, Mama, Jack, oh, baby, 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 so okay. The astrologers, the magicians, the stargazers of Babylon were all perplexed. And they know when Nebuchadnezzar is furious. He meant every word he has spoken. Because the word of the king does not fall to the ground. Did you watch The King and I? That film, did you watch it? What happens when the king claps? Somebody must show up. When he does like this, if you are clapping and nothing is happening, you are not a king. But you are coming to that status of the one who has made you kings and priests. And let's read, let's read, let's read. So the decree went out. It did not need the parliament. It did not need national assembly. Do you understand me? It did not need the armed forces ruling Kansu. It's the decree of a The decree went out. He spoke and that was the end. The decree went out and they began killing the wise men and they sought Daniel and his companions to kill them. Why? They are also in the club of the wise men of Babylon. But wisdom past wisdom. Yes, sir. There's a wisdom that is from beneath. There's a wisdom that's from above. Which one do you want? I will show you the gatekeeper of that wisdom this morning. And if I do not preach another word today, I will dance, I will sing, you will go home because the operation is taking place in your heart. God is performing a surgery. The spirit of cancer is coming on the inside of you to begin to show you things, great and mighty things that you do not know in the name of Jesus Christ. Here we go. Then we, I can't hear you. Uh, I'm not sure you got that. Then somebody canceled Daniel. He was resident. He opened his mouth and the spirit of counsel took over and ushered in wisdom to protect a man from death. Then Daniel, with counsel and wisdom, answered Arioch, the captain of the king's guard, who had gone out to kill the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said to Arioch, the king's captain, why is the decree from the king so urgent? This is unusual. Why is the decree so urgent? What's the problem? What's wrong with the king? Is he okay? Why is the decree so urgent? Then Ariok made the decision. He did not talk to other people who had been killing them. The killing had begun. He did not entertain any discussion with others. Somebody say, minus me. Minus me. Others may. I cannot because of destiny. You understand me? An elderly man came to our home yesterday night, one year old, and said, hey, do you see hope in Nigeria? I said, sitting with you is the hope of Nigeria. Sitting right here, my eyes will see the new nation. Say it on mountaintop. Buhari's administration is transitioned. 
is number 15. Number 16 is about to take over. You cannot stop it. Death cannot stop it. Circumstances cannot change it. It is settled in heaven. It's on earth. It's not by political engineering and manipulation. It's a decree of the king. It's a decree of the Lord. It's a word. It's a decree of the watchers. You have been with me for this long. How many times have I been joking like this? I'm not a palace court jester. No way. No way. We are not going to beg for it. The decree has gone out. It's not returning to God void. The spirit of counsel is ushering in the spirit of wisdom. The same people that look for Jephthah that they drove out are going to beg Jephthah to become their king. They are going to sign the contract by themselves. Do you understand me? And I will not lose any of you. Every one of you having a prime role to play. You are going to see with your eyes. You are going to be there with me. In the name of Jesus. He answered and said to Ariok King's captain, Why is the decree from the king's soldier? Then Ariok made the decision known to Daniel. So Daniel went in and asked the king to give him time. That he might tell the king the interpretation. I thought the king said they were trying to gain time. I thought the king said he would not grant them any extension of time. I'm an exception to the rule. I am an exception to the rule. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, Baba let me let me go by me Baba ni mo fe let me let me go by me Baba ni mo fe
Why did the king grant Daniel extension of time? Because he remembered on the day of their graduation, he was there to examine them. And he saw that Daniel and his companions were 10 times wiser than the, all the Chaldeans and the astrologers. He said, I remember your graduation date. These are hunger coats, liars. What I denied them, I grant you. I announce to you by the active operation of the spirit of counsel and wisdom in your life, you are an exception to the rule. You are an exception to the rule. You are an exception to the rule. Others may die, you will live. Others may fall, you will rise. Others may go bankrupt, you will increase. You and the children that the Lord God has given you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me read a little further. Then Daniel went to his house and made the decision known to Ananiah, Michelle, and Azariah, his companions. That, that's not the name the king called them. And they retain the authentic name. They don't go by any AKA, also known as Elias. They said, that's your God, not our God. And they call upon their God that they might seek mercies from the God of heaven concerning this secret. Say to your neighbor, the secret things. <laughs> Every secret thing Every secret that will turn Nigeria around. <laughs> Every secret thing Every secret that will make the vinyl smart. <laughs> Every secret thing <laughs> that will make the wisdom of their wise men turn it backwards. That every secret thing is in the spirit of counsel and wisdom. And you here present are receiving both today in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> that they might seek mercies from the God of heaven concerning this secret. So that Daniel and his companions might not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Tell, say it loud. I'm not, with the rest. I'm not perishing with the rest. I've entered into God's rest. I'm, God's rest. I'm not among them. I'm not, among them. I'm, not them. I'm not one of them. I'm not eating with them. I'm not dying with the devil. They will, they will die. They will die. I, will I will live. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Some trust in chariots. Others in horses. We will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are falling and they are brought down. We are risen and stand upright. Our help is in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. read on you know I brought a different message from home I walked on it at 2 a.m. while they were singing he gave me this message and I'm obeying him because he would do it in your life yeah. then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision so Daniel blessed the God of heaven Ima 
Somebody say the spirit of counsel in action. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. And he does not need to come down to do it. He does not need to march in the street to do it. When he's ready, he will do it. <laughs> he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells within. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. You have given me wisdom and might. You have now made known to me what we ask of you. For you have made known to me, to us, the kings, the man. And do you think it was apologetic? He sent for Ariok. Let's read. Therefore Daniel went to Ariok, whom the king had appointed to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said thus to him. Do not destroy the wise men of Babylon. You don't need to go to the king. I change his decree. Hallelujah. Every decree against you is changed. Every decree against you is cancelled. Every medical report about you that is negative is nullified. In the name of Jesus. Who has the final say?
He said to Ariok, take me before the king, and I will tell the king the interpretation. And Ariok quickly brought Daniel before the king and said thus to him, I have found a man of the captives of Judah. Eleno Jagba Jagba. Do you know how old Daniel was when he got to Babylon? Open your Bible to Daniel chapter 1 and find out his age. Read the commentary. Daniel was 16 years old. Legacy Youth Fellowship, are you listening to me? He went to college for three years. At the time he was standing before the king, he would be 19 or 20. My children, you are going to arise. Wherever you are in the world, you are going to shine. Nothing will intimidate you. Nothing will make you inferior. Nothing will make you incomplete. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all destruction. Every destructive thought and force in your life, I arrest and eject in the name of Jesus. You are not a failure. Nothing will hinder your destiny. You will fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. Have you found it? Is it written there? Daniel's life and ministry bridged the entire 70 year period of Babylonian captivity. Deported to Babylon at the age of 16 and unpicked for government service. Do you understand me? You are not too young. Don't tell your children they are too young. They are going places in God. You are mighty seed of a righteous man. Amen. Crime is not your portion. Amen. Crown is your portion. Amen. Thank you. Let me read a little further. I have found a man of the captives of Judah who will make known to the king the interpretation. Don't feel bad. When they belittle you, they don't know the real you. The real you is about to come. The real you is about to manifest. He said, he said, one of the one of the men in our captivity. Hey. Mola o ota mi mola o Mola o ota mi mola o Ise ise ye ke ye ma foloju arun Ise ise ku ke ku ma de ninu ibo Ise ise ya ke ya ma we ninu ibu Igin la ya ti na mo bere wo ko ya Mola o Any 
The king answered and said to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, are you able to make known to me the dream which I have seen and its interpretation? Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, the secret which the king has demanded, the wise men, the astrologers, <laughs> the, the ministerial slots. You, you don't understand that. There are too many slots in the slot. The ministerial slots, you understand? Listen. The secret with the king has demanded that the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, and the soothsayers cannot declare to the king. But there is a God in heaven. Somebody give him praise. 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 But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets and is made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days. Your dream and the visions of your head upon your bed were days. <laughs> Obani Jesu. Obani, Obani, Obani Jesu. Obani, Obani. Onisara. Lalaru <laughs> As for you, O king, you, thoughts came to your mind while on your bed about what will come to pass after this, and he will reveal secrets as made known to you what will be. But as for me, for you, it was thought in your head. For me, this secret has not been revealed to me because I have more wisdom than anyone living. But for your sakes, and you're your dirty, dirty one. For your sakes, but for our sakes, we make known the interpretation. To the king and that you may know the thoughts of your heart. You, O king, were watching. And behold, a great image, this great image whose splendor was excellent stood before you and its form was awesome. This image said was of fine gold, its chest and arms of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of clay. Ah, egg by me. <laughs> <laughs> we are not talking of guesswork. If it was not so, it would not resonate with the king. As he was saying it, the image was coming back. He was while a stone was cut out without hands. We struck the image on his feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold were crushed together and became like chaff from the summer threshing floors. The wind carried them away so that no trace of them was found. And the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and fell. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of a God. <laughs> In the mountain of his holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole world is Mount Zion on the side of the northern city of the great king. Is Mount Zion on the side of the northern city of the great king. 
Hallelujah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. For situation, the joy of the world. Oh, yes, with my side and side of the northern city of the great king. Is my side and my side of the northern city of the great king. I'm still reading. This is the dream. Oh, God, you agree, Abi, you don't agree. <laughs> Nebu, this is the dream. Now, we, who was speaking? We. Now, we will tell the interpretation of it before the king. You, O king, I, king of kings, for the God of heaven has given you a kingdom, power, strength, and glory. Rankai, dead day, commander in chief of the armed forces. And wherever the children of men dwell, or the beasts of the field and the birds of the heaven, he has given them into your hand and has made you ruler over them all. You are this head of gold, where you are coming down. But after you shall arise another kingdom inferior to yours. Then another, a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be as strong as iron, and as much as iron breaks in pieces and shatters everything. And like iron that crushes, that kingdom will break in pieces and crush all the others. Whereas you saw the feet and toes partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. Yet the strength of the iron shall be in it, just as you saw the iron mixed with ceramic clay. And as the toes of the feet were partly of iron and partly of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. As you saw iron mixed with ceramic clay, they will mingle with the seed of men. But they will not adhere to one another, just as iron does not mix with clay. And in the days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom. We shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. I can't hear your Amen. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Come on. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. He's risen. I'm looking for another song. Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth. Oh yes, 
Let me read on. In as much as you saw that the stone was cut out of the mountain with our hands, and it broke in pieces the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God has made known to the king what will come to pass after this. The dream is certain, and his interpretation is sure. Nebuchadnezzar, I don't need your opinion because you did not even remember the dream. I am telling you where we are going. You cannot fix Nigeria. It's not in your hand. You are just a transitory vehicle. Get out of the way and let those who have been assigned to fix it, fix it. Or else the stone will crush you. Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face. Prostrate before Daniel and commanded they should present an offering and incense to him. Why? Because the magician said nobody can do it except God. Oh. So he had become a timber and Kali by a force to reckon with. Etidano. You understand me? Wait, I'm still coming. You will hear word that will... You will see men in power not being able to see. You cannot continue to mess up this nation. Nigeria is Canada, Europe, US. This is where we are going. The king answered, Daniel answered, Truly your God is a God of gods, the Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets, since you could reveal this secret. Then the king promoted Daniel and gave him many great gifts. And he made him ruler over the whole. Somebody talk to me. Not local government, not state, not geopolitical. Over the whole province of Babylon, and chief administrator over all the wise men of Babylon. Also, Daniel petitioned the king. And he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king. That's where elders will sit. Why am I telling you this story? See what the spirit of counsel can do. In the life of a man. Receive the same spirit today. Become rulers over the things that challenge you. 
Become rulers over circumstances that, that hinder you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kings will bow before you. They will become your nursing fathers. Queens will become your nursing mothers. You think it's impossible. It was the whole Nebuchadnezzar. I don't know his height. Maybe 9 feet 11, maybe 7 foot 4. But he went flat, prostrate, before Daniel. And this is why when he decided to throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into fiery furnace, he could not dare because Daniel had become a god. If you are prostrated before a man, you cannot enforce any law on him. I'm going on the upward way. New heights I'm getting me every day. Still praying out. I am out. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up. of counsel to you and I will build on this next Sunday by the grace of God are you ready yes, say with me everything, everything. And, everyone and everyone does not, does not. and should not, not. Matter. matter equally, equally. In, my life. in my life everything, everything. and everyone does not, does not and should not, not matter equally, equally in, my life. in my life. Stop hanging around time wasters and stop allowing them to hang around you. You understand me? Everything and everyone does not matter equally. If they mattered equally, the magicians would have done what Daniel did. Circumstances facing you are stepping stones. God is activating the potentials in you so that you can fulfill purpose. Without potentials being activated and maximized, you cannot fulfill purpose. Don't look at the setbacks and the letdowns and then get discouraged. He's working a walk on the inside of you. When your day of manifestation comes, You'll be at the top. Yeah. They are going to be asking you questions. How did you come by Citadel? What is the secret? And you'll be able to tell them this is not the work of any man. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, heaven is open over you. Yeah. Abundance is your portion. Yeah. In the next few weeks or days, we'll be asking funds for the chairs and the media. Do you understand me? And everything we need. We'll be asking. The last time I checked, the chairs alone will be about 680 million. I'll divide it by your number. I'll just divide Give me, give me a good calculator. You are a banker, senior banker. Uh, help me divide 680 million. Make it 700, divide it by 5,200. That will give you how much each chair will cost. Don't be afraid. It looks so big. 680 is working on it. I'm coming back. Those things don't bombard me anymore. Amen. They don't scare me. Amen. See where God has brought us. And yet, the day we dedicate it, we owe no man a dime. You know why? The angels are on assignment. God has gone ahead of you to make outstanding payments that are due to you paid. To cost, you have done it. It is 135,000 naira per chair. <laughs> Can you see? 
uh, I will buy the first hundred. Uh, 135,000 multiplied by 100. 1.3 billion. Uh, I'll buy the first hundred. Sorry, 13.5 million. 13.5, I buy the five, 13.5 million, I buy the first hundred. Do you understand me? Because I want my returns in 100% form. That's me, I'm not talking about you. Do you understand me? And you buy your own. Yes. Write your own ticket with God. Yes. When you first heard the figure, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. What tip of you? You want a loma joko leo. Because it's not possible that I will sit on 100 chairs. And so I'm going to send my own check in from next Monday and say, this is the worst chair. This is 13.5 million for 100 chairs. What are you going to write? At least you can write one chair. And if you can't write 10, wrote to me, you must write. Because you didn't write when we were buying the ones for here. Amen. This time you must write all that money you have been saving. Bring it out. Right. In Jesus' name. Amen. See, new briefs are coming your way. Amen. New proposals. Those, those who you are chasing are about to chase you. Amen. And they are going to chase you with Good money, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Why? Because the spirit of cancel is in operation in your life. Amen. Did Daniel, the man, gives from the king? He gave him gifts and he said, bring incense, bring drink offering. This man is a God now. Those who look down, you are about to look up to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, because you gave me this word and season, let the spirit of counsel and wisdom dominate, permeate, take absolute control of the hearts of your people. Amen. To stand the tide of death and murder in their lives. Yes. You will not die. Yes. You will live. Yes. And you declare the works of Almighty God. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. 